Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Doc Seismic. He made his first appearance in Invincible, issue number 10, that was released in March of 2004. He was originally a normal human male that stood 5 feet 10 inches tall and weighed 155 pounds, although he had rare orange eyes and patchy black hair. However, he would eventually be transformed into a large and powerful volcanic-like being, then having rock-like armor on his legs and arms, as well as having sharp black teeth. Now, in his human form, he has no known superhuman powers, although he was quite formidable using two very advanced gauntlets that he wore on his wrists. And whenever these two devices were brought together, they created a reaction that's reminiscent of Wonder Woman's bracelets of submission, giving off powerful waves of energy that can actually destabilize the molecular structure of inorganic materials. This can cause almost any material or object to fracture or shatter. And when it's directed towards the Earth itself, it can cause powerful seismic waves that are similar to an earthquake, which in itself can give him influence over a huge swath of land. Now, in his new transformed state, he has moderate to vast superhuman strength and endurance while also having a heightened durability. And that's not to mention that he now has considerable control over fire and lava flows. Now, we first see Doc Seismic as a mid-tier villain, pulling off mediocre capers primarily just to get the attention and fame from battling known superheroes. Our villain would first run into Invincible while he was pulling off a plot to destroy Mount Rushmore, which he just knew would draw the attention of a big name hero. However, at this point, Invincible was not very well known, and Doc had to fight extremely hard to stave off this unknown yet very powerful new superhero. The extreme seismic attacks that he'd have to use would lead to he and Invincible falling into a deep gorge in the earth. Yet, despite Invincible trying his best to grab him to keep him from falling to his death, Doc Seismic would do what he could to avoid this, preferring to fall to his death than to be defeated at the hands of an unknown hero. Months would go by before Invincible learned that Doc Seismic didn't actually die. The young hero and several of his superhero buddies would find him deep within the earth while they were looking into an attack by a group of lava monsters known as Magmanites, who we saw were now under the control of Doc Seismic. Invincible would then incapacitate this new subterranean ruler and take him off to confinement. Although Doc would stay there for a little while, we'd see him later escape with the help of dozens of his Magmanite soldiers, which also led to the escape of dozens of other superpowered villains. The scale of this escape was so immense that even the Guardians of the Globe were unable to stop this from happening, although Doc would cleverly be recaptured by the efforts of the singular being known as Shapesmith. But of course, just like many other villains in the Invincible universe, Doc Seismic would eventually escape from confinement again. And subsequent to this is when we'd see his powerful transformation at the hands of a being known as Volcanica, who tells him that she's been watching him for a long time and has waited till this very moment to use a process that would incinerate his flesh and transform him into the powerful being that would be her king and rule by her side. Now he and his newly found partner would stage epic attacks against the surface world, which naturally would draw them into conflict with Invincible and the rest of the Guardians of the Globe. Now, for his powers and abilities and his influence on the Image Comics, in particular Invincible Comics Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Doc Seismic a rating of 7, which is a master rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.